Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Some of you may know that I have a Brava oven that I absolutely love. Well, I have some accessories for it and I am going to unbox them, check them out. I'm going to use them later, but I just want to show them to you today. So let's jump into it and here we go. All right, as we can see, I have a big pile of boxes right here. So let's just set some of these off to the side right here. And let's open up this one first. This is the, uh, this is the uh, loaf pan. So um, <clears throat> let's take this out of here. And one thing to notice about this loaf pan is that um, it's very, very deep. So you can see here, it's not gonna be like some of those uh, shallow loaf pans that you have. This one's gonna be really, uh, pretty deep there so that you can make a loaf of bread or whatever you want. But this loaf pan has another sort of secondary, um, a secondary sort of function here that a lot of people don't really always think about. And that is that you can use this to actually heat up liquids. So if you want it to heat up milk or, you know, like make chocolate milk, or you want it to heat up your coffee if it got cold, or whatever it is, you could use that to go ahead and pour your liquids in here and then heat it up because it's thick enough and then you can just simply pour it out. So yeah, anyways, this is the loaf right here, the loaf pan, and I really, really like this a lot. So yeah, let's, uh, I'm, I'm gonna make some. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'll make a loaf of bread. I was actually thinking maybe making like a loaf of uh, like chocolate chip banana bread or something. I don't know, I've never tried it before, but I think I might give it a shot. So, all right, let's set this off to the side and let's go here with this one. And this is the, uh, the muffin pan. And uh, yeah, this is another one that's gonna come in handy because I've been thinking about cupcakes a lot lately and I'm thinking this would be a great way to make some cupcakes. And let's see here. Yeah, I like this because these are not super big. Like they see, I guess maybe they're the, maybe they're the same size as regular, uh, like a regular muffin tin. But you know, one thing I like about this is that there's only six of them on here. And that's really nice for me because it's just me and my wife here in the house. And oftentimes if we make, you know, a full, uh, like a full uh, recipe of something where it calls for like a recipe that makes 20 different cupcakes, We'll eat 20 cupcakes. If you put 20 cupcakes in the house, we don't like to let food go to waste. We will eat them. So if I can get something and have a recipe that's only going to make six of them or maybe 12 of them, that is absolutely perfect here. So now another thing is with all of these pans, they are, are they are all nonstick. So you don't have to worry about lining them or anything. They should just, uh, you put your stuff in there and they should just, uh, f all your food should just slip right off of them and fall out. And so if I'm making cupcakes or muffins, I should be able to pick them right up out of this pan. So, all right, let's go ahead and, uh, and get the next one going here. And this one is the metal tray. And uh, we've seen the metal tray before because when I did my, um, my Brava oven video, um, I had the metal tray that came with mine. And so yeah, let's set that box over there. And this is the metal tray. And this is nice because um, I actually already have a metal tray. But one thing that's nice about having a second one here is that if you're making stuff like say pizza, it allows you to have um, you know a second pizza on deck. So you can you can make one pizza and put it in there, and then you can go ahead and get it cooked. You can start serving pizza to your friends or your family, and then you can put this one in there. So while the, while the first one's cooking, you could be preparing the second one, and that way when the first one's done, you throw this one in there, you get it cooking up, and you can have pizzas basically rotating through. So if you're cooking pizzas for friends or families, or maybe your kids are having a sleepover or something, you always have the uh, you always have enough pizza and stuff ready. Now, another nice thing about these are, you can see they are labeled here. You have one, two, and three, and these are zones so that you know which zone to put your food because some of the uh, food that you're gonna cook is, like let's say um, last night I made uh, pork chops and, uh, and potatoes. So it was telling me to put my pork chops here in zone one and then put my potatoes here in zone two and three and I was able to cook them all at the same time. And that way I didn't have to worry about 
preparing the potatoes and then putting them in the oven or something or preparing the pork chops first and then pulling them out and then putting the potatoes in, I was able to cook them both at the same time. So yeah, this is always handy. If you don't have one of these, you should definitely get a extra one. If you don't have, if you only have one, get another one if you have a Brava oven. So, all right, this is the last thing here and this is the, uh, the cake pan. And let's get this open here and check this out. So this is, uh, let's see here. Let's get that off to the side. And this is the cake pan. Yeah, look at that, it's a good size cake pan. I didn't realize that this pan was gonna be uh, this big. But yeah, this is a good size cake pan. It looks like I'm gonna need to wash it a little bit uh, before I use it, which you should do. You should wash all of these pans before you use them because you know they get packaged and they're shipped and you know whatever happens. So make sure you wash these before you uh, use them if you're pulling them straight out of the packaging. So, all right. But yeah, this is a really nice size cake pan. I can see myself, uh, I can see myself making a nice cake. And this is enough. This is probably enough if you are serving cake for like maybe four people or something. But if you are in a household with like I am with two people, a cake this size is perfect because it's enough that you can eat the cake and come back to it a few times and not have cake so long that it gets stale and you don't want to eat it. But also it's not such a huge cake that you're basically just gorging yourself on it, trying to finish it. So yeah, all right, there we go. That is, uh, those are a couple of different options you can get for your uh, for your Brava oven, different sort of uh, cooking pans that you can get. And so we had the uh, the metal tray, the cake pan, the loaf pan, and the muffin pan, and they're all of them are going to work fantastically. I I so far have the uh, the egg pan, the metal tray, and the glass tray, and all of them work superbly. All right, everyone, so there we have it. That is it. That is a look at these Brava accessories. And again, we have the cake pan, we have the loaf pan, we have the metal tray, and we have the muffin pan. And yeah, these things are absolutely fantastic. And I'm gonna set these off because they're clanking around and making noise. But anyways, these are all going to be great. And I already love the accessories that I currently have. These are gonna be just that much more helpful for, uh, for cooking. So really really cool stuff so anyways I'm gonna leave links to them down below in the video description so that you can check them out I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page and my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere so that you can see all the other products and services that I've reviewed over time and I hope you enjoyed seeing this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram and I am Larry but today I feel like Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.